Perfect. Perfect. First stop, we're gonna go ahead and check out JD Sports and see what basketball sneakers they got in stock. So as you can see for the basketball selection, they do have some variety. The Jason Kids, this is like that patent leather situation going on too as they do on the Jordan 1 Lowe's. 160 on the retail, translucent outsole. For you guys hooping out there, are you guys a fan of the translucent outsole or do you guys feel like it doesn't really do the job? I hear mixed reviews when it comes to basketball sneakers with translucent outsoles. It's got some nice leather quality on the upper. Definitely a low cut shoe. Does have some weight to it. Might be a pretty good shoe. I think the traction might be well too. But give me your thoughts overall. We got the KD Trey 510 and it's red colorway, which we've seen before. This is KD's budget model for hooping. Definitely a good basketball shoe with a lot of tech. You got the Air Zoom in there and you got some React also. A re renew. So we got the uh, newest colorway, the Safari colorway of the Jordan Luca 1. Definitely a dope colorway, 110 on the retail. Definitely a lightweight shoe, and I do have a review on my channel. This definitely has some breathable room. It's a lightweight shoe, and it's low cut. Got that Formula 23 foam that they use for the Jordan sneakers. What do you think about this one? Of this LeBron 20, which is definitely a great shoe for hooping in. A lot of good reviews when it comes to the traction on here and just the fit lightweight shoe. You don't see these at too many different stores, this colorway. Let me know if you guys are feeling the all-star vibe or not. This is probably my favorite colorway. I've heard some pretty good things. You got the full air on the uh, midsole, which is a really good thing for bounce uh, and response when you're actually hooping. Witness 7 performance basketball shoe. So you definitely should try this out. The traction on here is definitely not bad either. Of course, we got the beautiful playoff 13s. Very classic Jordan sneaker that I do own in my collection. I had to scoop this up and I'm surprised that it's available as it is, but it's probably just the timing. These Aqua 5s, which is something I am a fan of, not so much for hooping, more for casual wear, even though this is technically a basketball sneaker. This Jordan 5 is definitely on point for style. More casual wear of the Jordans. We got these right here. Let me know what you guys think about this color combination on this Jordan Low. This colorway is definitely not bad. Got the uh, brown outsole purple with the purple laces the black and soft pink some suede material in that toe box that's actually not bad and then it has like a translucent outsole too uh, the dub zero which is also another basketball shoe out there that people wear probably for casual wear if they do pick these up got the laser on the side let me know what you guys think about the dub zeros then we have a newer colorway of this um yeah this one got the suede on it too just like that jordan low did for the jordan mid it's like the unc colorway i've had a few people ask me about these these are definitely not bad some pretty cool leather quality you got suede on the back panels as well on a toe box uh retail 135 translucent blue outsole some dunks what do you guys think about this one in the comment section below you got the uh just do it 2023 what is this 120 on the retail copper pass what size is this definitely not a bad shoe I like the color combination on this one too, but more for the gray school, I guess, or women's. This is a size 7Y in hand. So they have a Jordan Elevate and another colorway. So many colorways of the Jordan Elevate. Let me know if you guys are feeling this one or not for the ladies out there, 135. Plus they still got some of these on deck too, a few sizes left when it comes to the women's. And they also have this dunk, which we've seen at another location, I believe. Yeah, we definitely have. What do you guys think about this dunk? So we have a uh, Foot Locker right here. Let's go ahead and check and see what's going on there. Never seen this one. I definitely have seen this one in stock. $200 on the retail for the Jordan 2 Lows. This is a bigger size right here. Not sure what size this is, but definitely a bigger size. Did you guys scoop these up or pass on them? Not bad. Basketball selection here. Great selection of basketball sneakers here at this House of Hoops and the Culver City Mall. We got KD15s, Kyrie Infinities, All-Star colorway, which we definitely talked about. Let me know if you guys think about this. Let's put it there in the light. Definitely a good basketball shoe. One of his best so far from the way it looks as well as comfortability. Uh, do I have a review of this on my channel? I'm not sure. But let me know what you guys think about this KD15 All-Star colorway. Retail for these is 160. And they got the All-Star uh, Zoom Freak 4. Of course, we talked about this plenty of times. Definitely a good shoe. And this colorway is dope too as well. And then they got the KD15 BPMs. As you guys can see, beats per minute, 86 beats per minute. On sale for 119, which is a good steal for this basketball sneaker. They have the uh, KD15s that the believe these glow in the dark in the bottom. 119 on sale for those. This right here on sale. 
This LeBron jersey, 75th anniversary, very dope one. Uh, what size is this? I don't know. It looks like it could be my size, maybe a little bigger, 56. But 7.99, you definitely can't pass that up. So we scooping that for sure. They got some other things here on sale. Some okay, but yeah, no, we're we're definitely gonna grab this right here. Now, this is definitely a steal. What kind of retail arbitrage shit is this? That's the basketball shoes when it comes to Puma, the NBO2. All the colorways, J, Supernova, Rookie of the Year, and the Phenom. Of the ones that have released so far, of course, we got the Rick and Morty out there, too. Comment below which colorway of the NBO 2 do you guys like the most. For Adidas basketball, they do have this Kobe Adidas right here in the Laker, Laker colorway. Saw this at one other store. First time seeing this in a flex location. They also got them over there on display. Definitely a pretty good basketball shoe. I had the uh, black colorway and the silver colorway when they first came out. Let me know what you guys think about these. Kind of like a space shoe. Not sure how they will perform compared to all the other shoes out there on the market. But the price point of 150 is not bad. And if you love Kobe, maybe you want to grab these. Dame 8, Mr. Uncredible. We've definitely seen this before. This colorway is loud. Uh, one of the better suit models, one of the best sneakers for Dame Lillard is the Dame 8. I heard a lot of good things about it. Their Jordan section over here has definitely stepped up since the last time I came here. 37s. We got Westbrooks here. We got Jordan Retros here as well. Unf it's crazy to see. I mean, we got the Jordan 13s playoffs, which we saw at the last store. Very dope shoe. Very classic shoe. How long will this shoe sit in stores? Jordan 5 Aquas. Definitely a dope shoe as well with some good quality. And then they still have these on deck. I don't know how many sizes they have left of the uh, Jordan 2 Lucky Greens, a.k.a. Celtic colorway. Not mad at this shoe at all. 110 on the retail. What do you guys think about this one? No, no, 110. Excuse me, 175 on the retail. The Space Jam Mids here on deck too, which we've seen it plenty of times with the translucent blue outsole. I like this one a lot. Very shiny. Looks like you can wear this with a suit or something like that too. This is a really good basketball performance shoe as well, and it is lightweight. If you're not mad at the Westbrook the way it looks, you definitely should try this shoe out. Only 79 bucks as opposed to 130 on Heritages. Not sure how many pop sizes they have left of this one. LeBron jerseys, but I just picked up one for $7.99. Crazy. Then you guys go ahead and check out the LeBron basketball section. LeBron 20s, LeBron 20 NXT. This one here has a mismatched shoe if you haven't seen it before. It's not really the budget model, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is. It's still $160 on the retail. I like this blue also right here too. The LeBron 20 All-Star, which we've seen at the last location. And they still have um, the Christmas LeBron as well as the olive green one. But, you know, along with the debut, dope colorway of LeBron 20s. Of these LeBron 20s, man, let me know which ones you guys like the most. Of course, you guys see I, did own, I do own this one. Full detail review on my channel. I switched the laces up because it comes with some red laces in here. I like the colorway, the red and green upper, silver midsole. I'm a big fan of this translucent also as well for this LeBron 20 right here. Then we got the uh, debut colorway, which is also not bad, white and black. You got the gold Nike swoosh on there with, once again, that translucent also, which I'm a fan of, more for aesthetics than, you know, actual uh, using on the court. Some people like translucent outsoles for hooping shoes. Some people don't. But definitely for casual wear, this is definitely on point right here. Olive green is also a uh, dope colorway for the LeBron 20. One of the more sophisticated, the way it looks with the uh, suede upper as opposed to the knit upper like the other previous three have. Uh, I like this colorway and I'm looking forward to the Liverpool as well because it's all suede too. This is definitely like a fall winter vibe for me. I like the olive green colorway, not bad. And then of course they have this... Uh, the all-star colorway probably the best newest colorway out but the back of backward swooshes that's the big difference from all the other ones all of these retail for 200 bucks but of this selection right here for the lebron 20 which one do you guys like the most i mean all of them are definitely dope i'm trying to find my best picture right here let me get some reels before i get out of here too okay, so this is probably like the lowest i've seen them so far usually they're 89 bucks so now we got them for 79 normally 200 dollars retail i have to look it up for retail arbitrage to be honest with you so arbitrage purposes i will be be back to scoop this i'm gonna look at a few more stores before i grab this but this is on sale for 79 bucks i have a coupon to make it even cheaper maybe even a gift card uh they're going for a pretty good amount on amazon i'll show you guys one example here for this colorway but the alternate colorway during the all-star saturday night definitely fire let me know what you guys think about this colorway. The thing about these Griffies right here, this red, black, this red, gray, and white one, gives me like Ohio State vibes. 
definitely feeling this colorway. I haven't seen it just yet. Rate this one from a one to 10 in the comment section below. About this colorway, we definitely seen it before. Definitely looks better in this lighting. The colors are blue with the midsole, definitely a comfort red and trim. Blue colorway of the two tray. This is like the Celtic green or lucky green colorway. Translucent blue also, icy blue also. A lot of colorways in these two trays that are coming out, man. Let me know if you're feeling any one of these because these are all pretty dope. There's LeBron 20s along with the Lakari Infinities as well. They still have these guys still here. Full retail as well. Oh no, so they have them on sale for 89 bucks now. 99 bucks for that one, so that's cool to see. They're starting to put them on sale here at Chic as well. They do have these on deck. These Jordan 2s are now out. The Muslins, definitely talked about these and Jordans on the way. 175 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Very good quality on these, man. Very good quality. And rest assured that the 13s are sitting pretty much in every store I went into, which is crazy to see. And the other thing that's crazy to see, this is the only one, but every other Kyrie is back to full retail at 140. The fast forward, 130. Keep some freshes. What's up with that, man? They do still have some retros here, too. And they got the LeBrons over there for 119 that we just seen for 79 bucks. Already on display for the gray school. Definitely a dope colorway. Review for the sneaker coming to my channel very soon. Rick and Morty Puma hoodie that is definitely fire to go with the NBL 2s. Let me know what you guys think about this on the retail. $90. That's pretty dope. Pretty dope sweater though, I'm not gonna lie. I also have this Puma MBO2. This the flare colorway. Black with like the pink. Reminds me of like some Brett the Hitman heart stuff. How does this line up amongst all the other colorways that are out there at the MBO2? I have a couple colorways of some uh, classic sneakers. You got the Reebok Kobe PE Iverson with a three on the back. Definitely dope. Crazy to see this thing sitting here. Still full retail. This classic sneaker right here. The Reebok Pump, Reebok Shack Pump. Definitely his best, probably his best sneaker, man. I like this colorway. Let me know what you guys think. So as you guys can see at this selection here at Champ Sports, they have all the colorways of the MBO 2s. Everything that you would actually want for the MBO 2s. Let's start down here with the slimes. We have a full detail review on, on feet of this sneaker. Then we got the newest colorway of the MBO 2, which is the Rick and Morty. I'm definitely a fan of this colorway though. Mismatched shoes, probably the best colorway so far in my opinion. Let me know if you guys agree with that. Rookie of the year colorway, like I said, they have every single one here. Rate this one from a one to 10 at the NBO2 Phenom. I like this colorway too, the black and teal colorway pretty much matches his jersey. The Jade colorway, for me personally, seeing these online before seeing them in hand, I was definitely a little bit more impressed by what I saw online. But this colorway is still not bad. I love the hint of the gold right there. Supernova for some reason wasn't it for me at, at the beginning, but now I'm liking it the more that I start to see it. Also has a translucent outsole of the MBO 2 that you guys see here in front of you. Let me know which one is your favorite one in the comments below. A couple colorways of the Gill Zero Resto Mode, definitely a fire colorway. This is the OG colorway he wore those during the three point shootout. Then we got the Undercrown colorway, which I do love. I have this one also in my collection as well. Definitely a fire sneaker, bro. Good traction. This has like a lot of bite when you wear these on a the court. Definitely a good basketball sneaker. Came briefly into Nordstrom Rack just to see if they had anything on deck. And they got some crazy stuff. Look at these KD-14s. This is like a huge size. Ain't no way this is a size 13. This thing looks too big for a size 13. But the colorway is definitely fire. Never seen this on oh, 17 and a half, and they want 82 bucks for these. Never seen this KD colorway though. This thing is fire. Is this a team colorway or not? Super dope colorway for the KD 15 or 14. Not mad at those at all. Then they have this big size right here for the Kyrie 7. What size is this shit? 14 and a half for $76. This blue colorway, definitely a dope. Kyrie 7. A lot of people do like those. That's just a crazy size. Then we got a uh, 17.5 for the Kyrie Infinity. And a size 18 for these KDs. Wow. But they're still taxing. Outlet will have them for like 39 bucks. Cool gray colorway too. I mean, but they're starting to get even basketball shoes here at this location. What's 
good YouTube your boy Bosco back again with another video here at the Grove about to go check out Nike and see what they got in stock if you like what you see you already know the drill and check out Bosco's goodies.com we got worldwide shipping available now you dig back at Nike let's go ahead and see what they got in stock today so here's their selection at the Grove came by here really quick to see what we could find got a few retros here Zions and Lucas they got a PG6 the uh the PG6 what the colorway, which is definitely a classic one. PG's last sneaker with Nike, huh? Colorway is nice. Fire. Full retail here. Can't believe that they're doing that too with him. 120 on the retail. KD 15 gold medal. A lot of people do like this one. Last time we came here, they still had some. These are pretty dope. K KD debuted his first game with the, um, the Suns yesterday, last night. Let me know what you guys think about these. Then of course the um, the Brooklyn Graffiti colorway. These are probably the best two colorways of the KD15 so far in my opinion. Brooklyn Graffiti and Gold Metal. Then they also have the Nike uh, LeBron NXXT Gen, the next gen. Like the takedown model, I guess from the LeBron 20. Or is this like the more lifestyle or budget? I don't know, cause it's only 160 as opposed to 200. This blue colorway is dope, and the other shoe, as you guys know, is mismatch. Of the LeBron 20 All-Star as well. Um, let me know what you guys think about this one. How does this one rate among all the other LeBron 20s out there? You still like that red, black, and white colorway. You can never go wrong with this one. This one, which I feel like I heard, was told it was limited, but they still have them here available, or they restocked on them, I'm not too sure. 210 on the retail, $10 more than the other ones, maybe because of the switch up of the material on the upper. Fire Christmas colorway too. Full review on my channel with the on feet and lace swapping, so check that out if you guys haven't already done so, or wanna see what this shoe looks like with those red laces that it comes with it. And then finally, their last colorway is the debut colorway, which is pretty nice also. You got that clear blue translucent outsole, can't go wrong with that ever. A lot of mixed reviews about this shoe. Not a bad one, I do like this colorway. 120 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about these. Oh, this is the record-breaking tee I heard about. People were telling me that they had Laker, uh, I mean LeBron record-breaking tees. Oh, wow. That's dope. Had no idea, but now we do. Thought the record, but that was never the goal, you dig? Three Nike swooshes on one side. 120 on the retail. Don't really know how well this will do. They also got this pink colorway, which is also pretty fire. I like the colorway for the ladies. Colorway to Air Max 1. Great. It's like a safari situation, if you will. 160 on the retail. Got these Hurricanes on deck, too. A few sizes left on these. Not a bad colorway for the Dunk Low. Got a new colorway of the Penny. I'm new to this one. Let me know if you guys are feeling this colorway or not. Definitely a fire one, if you be honest. Flow 5. This colorway is not bad. They got a few colorways that are coming out that are not too bad. 160 on the retail. Copper pass. One of the many new colorways of the Air Max 95. 175 on the retail for these. What do you guys think about this colorway right here? Curry 1 mid. If you guys are Curry fans, you guys know what this one's called. Second time I'm seeing these, but they both were in grade school, so I guess this might be a grade school only colorway. What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again. Now we're outside of Shoe Palace. Let's go ahead and see if we can get our hands on these Dornbeckers. I have a few people looking for them. So they have the Dornbecker collection, which I thought they would. This is why I'm here. What do you guys think about these uh, Dornbecker Harachis? 149 in the retail, translucent also. Not really a fan of that color combination, but it's pretty cool. They also have the uh, Presto Dornbecker 140 on the retail copper pass for these. Max 90 Dornbecker. This one had a lot of buzz. Air Max 90s are dope. I like the color combination and the materials are pretty dope. Bear down. And what do you think about these? 179 in the retail for this Dornbecker. Guillermo 5. My bad, I'm tripping. Guillermo 5 Dornbecker. What do you guys think about these? Two have the Dornbecker foam posit bro this one has some yellow changing right there the galaxy part changes are on the shell 250 on these you know foam posits but this is definitely a fire colorway for the foam posits let me know what you think about these two have uh both of these uh space jam isk nikes the 
Air Penny 2, which is dope, as well as the Jason Kidd colorway. Not too bad on these either. Patent leather on them. Definitely like the Penny 2 a little bit more. Great selection of retros. Let me know what you guys are looking at that you like the most. But they got everything, all the latest retros still available at this location. Half in hand. Surprised that the Georgetown 6s are still around. Very dope Georgia 6. Clean colorway. What do you think about these? Cook it, cut it, measure it, bag it, sell it. Cook it, cut it, measure it, measure it, crack. Cook it, cut it, measure it, bag it, sell it. Cook it, cut it, measure it, measure it, crack. Adidas right here. If you guys have information, let me know. Kamikaze loads for 49 bucks. These are definitely on sale. Good price. I like this color combination on these. Only 49 bucks is kind of crazy. I have this uh, classic Iverson River Nuggets colorway. Here at the Nether Mall, about to check out some sneakers, see what we can come across. If you see something you like, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you check out BoscosGoodies.com, you dig? Go ahead and see if there's anything good at the shoe palette. They still have this K Kyrie, Kyrie KD Infinity, 69 bucks on these. Never seen these before for the ladies out there, 139 on a retail. What do you think about these Air Max 90s? They got this Halloween dunk right here still chilling out too. Definitely, uh, I guess nobody really wants this. This is a bigger size, like a 14 or something. What do you guys think about these in the comments? So this one here, uh, they just got these on deck. I've seen this online. Not a bad colorway for this dunk. The materials is kind of different, but these are not too bad. Part of like the cloud pack, they got them here on the dunk high with the suede also. What do you guys think about this color? They too still have some gray school. Jordan 11's on deck, man. Still available, still sitting in stores. Two pair of gray scoop right there, along with those sixes. Jordan 13 down to 120 from 150. Not a bad colorway on these 13s. The location that actually took the Kyries off the uh, shelves and said, don't sell Kyries, don't sell Kyries. Now they got them back on the shelves on sale. $80 for the Kyrie Low 5. 60 for the fly trap. Still got these Air Max 90s on deck too. Safari print, all kind of animal prints over here. 140 on the retail. Copper pass. What's good, YouTube? We had to rock them, bro. Like, how can you not? How could you not rock the classics, bro? You know? How could you not rock them? Where are your sneakers? This Foot Locker doesn't have anything new, but they do have a lot of fire shoes here. Zoom Freak 4s. KDs, they are not budging on these. Still 109 and one, 109 and 110. That's crazy. 140 for these. Still full retail. That's crazy. Liverpool's. They have a great selection of LeBrons though. My first look at the One Take Five or the Westbrook Five. Westbrook Six. What do you guys think about this colorway? This is definitely different. Got that zipper on there. Gives me like the Gary Payton glove sneaker. Got a new slide on deck. Apparently there's a Puma Rick and Morty slide. Never seen these before. Let me know what you guys think about these. And I finally got a chance to find these on sale for 110. Dope. Finally. Another retro on sale for 110, the Red Oreos. It is grade school, but 109 compared to 150. Adidas top 10, this is definitely on point. The patent leather, can't go wrong with these right here. 99 bucks on the retail. The Superstar's here for 94 bucks as well. I dig sporting goods to see what new they had, and they have a new colorway, the latest colorway of the Kyrie Low 5. Full retail of 120, but it's definitely a dope colorway. What do you guys think about this one? in the comments below definitely fire bro got some new colorways of this nike invincible with the zoom mx the cushioning is super super soft even softer than what boost was in my opinion what do you guys think about this colorway though definitely not mad at this sneaker model right here very bouncy as you guys can see bouncing right off the floor colorway is dope though got it in this black and white colorway too with the off-white or the sail midsole but this one's pretty nice too. The white with the blue trim. Cushioning is crazy soft. If you guys own a pair of these, give us some feedback in the comments below.
These Adidas are definitely dope. Kind of like the uh, off, they got like the sail upper, white midsole. I like that blue and North Carolina blue. These are retailing for 110. This colorway is mean. That also looks dope too. Chance they got 50% off of the basketball jerseys. You got Kawhi Leonard, the U size. You got a Paul George size, uh, Kawhi size large for 110 with 50% off. That's not bad. Paul George also, but smaller sizes, small and a large for the Kawhi Leonard. He's in grade school at the other place. Now we got him in regular sizing, men's sizing rather, uh, 160, 150 on the retail. Yeah, 150 on the retail for those Currys. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Bad Shaq jerseys on sale right now, 25% off. Retail is 165. The whole collection of the NBO too. But what do you guys think about these slides? I saw this one at the last chance, but they have this one also. Let me know which one you guys like. at the mall about to go fill out the raffle for the Jordan 5 UNC hopefully I win if you guys are going after them let me know in the comment section below or are you passing on this sneaker make sure you check out boxcoachgiving.com and use Kai4 for 10% off the purchase you dig let's go ahead and check out Shoe Palace and fill out for this raffle haven't been here in a minute Jordan 13 UNC as I'm here filling out raffle tickets for the Jordan 5 UNC definitely a clean Jordan 13 Starting to slightly regret not picking these up yet. Maybe I might double back a little bit later. I don't know Finally tried these on today. I had a video recorded with these Very dope classic Jordan 13 of course Crazy to see it sitting, but that's just the times that we're in right now the Jordan 5 aqua Definitely a fan of that blue also. I'm not even gonna lie, man The aqua tone aqua color scheme on here is definitely on point with the new buck up there. Got a new colorway of the Jordan 6 rings. If you're somebody out there who likes the 6 rings, let us know in the comments below. And this one's not bad. Got the new buck up there with the mesh and some leather on the upper. Some people like them, some people don't. I think Jordan 6 rings have some very dope colorways out there, you know what I'm saying? My first time seeing these in hand. This colorway is definitely on point. And the quality on here is not bad. Got new buck and leather. New buck base with uh, leather overlays. You got the translucent outsole, and they do got some fire red Jordan 9, it's still available. It's not a return, they did say they have some sizes left for this if you guys are looking for a pair. Kyrie colorways, 69 bucks on that black colorway, $69 on this one, size 11. I will come back and scoop that up, I'm not grabbing anything today, but I will come back and scoop them up because people ain't really grabbing them anyway. Penny 2 with the patent leather, man. Definitely a dope one, seeing this in person again. 199 on the retail. What do you guys think about these pennies? Check out Foot Locker. Off the bat, they got some Reeboks that you might be interested in. One of Shaq's best sneakers. This colorway is not so bad either. I do like the home white one a little more. 180 on the retail for these. Definitely a classic shoe, but 180 I'm definitely not sure. But they have these out, the Question Pumps now. 180 on the retail for these. Let me know what you guys think about these Iversons. Got the Reebok pump on there, the Kobe Bryant PE, and the blue Dolce & Gabbana colorway. Dope to see a good amount of them on shelves right now. These got a little resale to them, and I do have a video to talk about these already. The FaZe Clan LeBron NXXT. Now they're bringing them back down. Well, at least this one's down to 79. This does come in a pack. There's a few other models that have the same pattern on here. What do you guys think about these though? The LeBron 20 all-star colorway rate this lebron 20 from a 110 scale if it came out of men's sizes would you cop it definitely fire and then i see this dunk sitting everywhere so i guess nobody wants these huh nice color combination just not maybe because it's gray school like this color combination on this adidas top 10 i believe 90 dollars on the retail it's like a sale in green patent leather pretty dope situation let's go ahead and look inside finish line and see if there's anything in here Never knew that they had these here. Definitely heard about these before. The Prism Iversons. What do you guys think about these? 100 on the retail as opposed to 140. Definitely a different Iverson right here. Got the suede tip, copper pass. Got these down to $80 as opposed to 160. 
Haven't seen these on sale really anywhere else, so that's good to see. 80 bucks. These DMX Irisons down to 100 as opposed to 170. Very classic shoe. Very bulky and heavy though, but very classic. Westbrook one take actually dropped down to 85 bucks. White Jordan one mids here too, 125 on a retail. Perfect for the summertime though. Triple white. We'll still have these on deck. The reverse laneys for the ladies here. Still sizes left. If you're somebody out there who don't have them in your area and you need help, go ahead and hit me up. Uh, especially if you're a channel member. Now the day is here. I'm back at another mall to go ahead and pick up these Jordan 5 UNCs. You guys saw me go and fill out the raffle for them. Let's go ahead and pick up my pair. If you like what you see, hit the like button and don't forget to check out Bosco'sGoodies.com, you dig? Let's go ahead and look inside Foot Locker really quick. There's so many different colorways of the on running 150 for these. I hear a lot of good things about these. Anybody in the comment section own a pair, let us know how you guys like these compared to some of the other shoes out. They do have some more Chrome 6s. I think they got a restock on these. Last time I came, they didn't have them. They did, this, they did say they have more sizes left. And then uh, this is the most recent six that dropped this year. Out of the two, which one do you guys like the most? Look at the time with these retros just around. Uh, the New Balance 2002R. I like this blue colorway. Got some suede and mesh on the upper. Kind of like the colorway on the Jordan 11 Craft. That bread colorway. Got that patent leather on there. 130 on the retail. Young twos on sale already. Normally 130 down to 79. And two colorways. These are both not bad either. A lot of Adidas stuff on sale right now, which is a good time to come and grab some of this stuff, man. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. The window. They do have these on deck. I thought they were gray. Is that like a light gray or is that a white? That's white. White with the red. Red outsole. But if you guys need help yourself picking up sneakers, go ahead and hit up my sneaker reserve. My retail sneaker reserve is linked in the description box below. And uh, let's go ahead and pick up my Jordan 5s, you dig? Walk up, you see what's in the window. We gotta go ahead and pick up our pair right now, you dig? Go with this University Blue 13 because in a second it's about to be Jordan 5 UNC, arguably the sneaker of the year. In my opinion, do you guys agree with that? Definitely gonna be top five, unless there's some more surprises out there. But at least for me, and I love that blue lace lock, we're gonna do a full review on these, of course. Still on sale for 139. Will they ever go a little cheaper than that? See, I don't even know. I mean, I'll probably still do a review, but let's go ahead and talk about these right now here in the store. You just can't go wrong with this. You've seen them once, you've seen them twice. Now that I own a pair, definitely want to talk about these really quick. One to 10 scale, what do you guys rate these? Resale is not too crazy, and some stores still have them available. I don't know when I'm gonna break this one out, but uh, I'm just happy to have them, bro. Very clean shoe. 